teaching the deadlift. When teaching the deadlift, the first way that I like to get people to start is to just use their own body weight and get accustomed to keeping their spine nice and straight and sitting their hips back and not rounding through their back as they do their deadlift. So the way I'll get people to do that is you stand shoulder width apart from your deadlift and keep your feet pointing fairly straight. As I go into the deadlift, I want to think of sitting my hips back into a wall and I'm going to place my hands on my thighs and I'm going to keep my hands along my thighs the entire time. So I'm sitting back, staying nice and straight, keeping my hands along my thighs. I'll try and get down to hands just below the kneecaps and then from there I'm going to drive my hips forward and squeeze at my glutes. That's one rep. I'm going to go down for a second rep, a little faster this time, hands below the knees. I'll typically feel a nice stretch in my hamstrings as I'm doing this. Drive the hips forward, come up and squeeze the glutes. So now I'm going to get Megan to attempt the bodyweight deadlift. So have your hands placed right along your thighs. Your feet are good shoulder width apart. You can just point your toes out slightly. That looks great. Now I want you to sit back thinking of driving your hips to a wall behind you. She's going to sit right back. Hands get just below the knees, you're going to pause there. Now from there, drive your hips forward, squeeze the glutes nice and strong, and you're going to repeat for two more reps. Glide down, little pause, good, come up, big squeeze, and then the last rep, drive down, little pause, and come up, and big squeeze. So once you've mastered the bodyweight deadlift, you're going to move on to the kettlebell deadlift. This is my favorite initial deadlifting exercise to make sure people stay safe and learn the technique before moving on to more advanced variations such as a barbell deadlift or a trap bar deadlift. So with the kettlebell, the first thing I want you to do is place your feet where they're right in, the kettlebell is right in between your feet. From there, I'm keeping my chest tall, same cues as our bodyweight deadlift. I'm going to sit my hips back, keeping that spine nice and straight. And instead of having my hands on me, I'm going to grab the kettlebell. From here, I'm lifting by driving my hips forward, squeezing out my glutes. And then on the way down, a very important cue I like to use with clients is to hide the kettlebell with their shins. It's very important when you're doing any type of deadlift variation that the weight stays as close to you as possible. So as I'm going down, I'm hiding that kettlebell with my shins, coming up and squeezing, going down, hiding the kettlebell with my shins, sitting back, come up and squeezing. Where you see the deadlift go wrong is again where people have their hands coming too far out in front of them. So my hands are out here and now I'm going to start to round with my back as I lower to the floor and then I come up pulling with my back. Make sure, make sure that you keep that kettlebell as close to your body at all times. So now we're going to get Megan to try out her kettlebell deadlift. I'm going to get you to walk forward so that the kettlebell is right in between your feet. Perfect. Even if you're a little too far forward, that is okay. You want to make sure you're never too far back. So from there, she's going to lower her hands on her thighs, sitting her hips back. Lower. Good. You're going to grab the kettlebell and from there, drive your hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Now, hide the kettlebell with your shins, sitting your butt back. Good, and she's gonna come up, driving with the hips and squeezing the glutes, and drive back. Again, you wanna feel that slight stretch in your hamstrings, and you wanna keep your back nice and straight as you're doing it. I'll get you to do two more reps. Sit the butt back, a little pause, good. Drive and squeeze with the glutes, and one more. Sit the butt back, stretch the hamstrings, good, and squeeze the glutes.